What's up everybody, Danny's here, back at it again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure you check out all the links in the description below. And so far, we are down to one more day until Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I'm super excited, okay? I have played Breath of the Wild before recently and I beat it, so congratulations to me. But so far, let's get into this. So with Tears of the Kingdom, it's going to be the biggest video game made by Nintendo because we all know it's $70 and I don't mind the price, but it will soon be over. I have to get over with $70 with Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I'm actually not gonna pre-order it, but soon enough. I'm not gonna, <laughs> sorry. I'm not gonna pre-order it because it's basically not really worth it to pre-order it digitally, but I like to buy it physically because I like seeing the physical version. But um, so far with Breath of the Wild, I have played it before and I have beaten it before and i'm assuming we're into something like any day now and i'm excited for tomorrow of the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom but tears of the kingdom is gonna be the biggest game for nintendo for the nintendo switch because as you may know there are actual gameplays i'm excited to see like tears of the kingdom they have copied sonic frontiers and minecraft minecraft as i can tell like you can craft things like, you can craft tools. I think that's what, um, Tears of the Kingdom is going to be. I I bet Tears of the Kingdom is going to be a reference to Minecraft. I believe Tears of the Kingdom is going to copy Minecraft. With, like, the same exact thing you can do in Minecraft. Like, like build your own house. Like, craft your, like, like, craft your own tools in case if they break. They break weapons in Breath of the Wild. And I think they're going to do the same thing with... They're going to do the same thing with Tears of the Kingdom. But keep in mind, I bet these games will be worth it. The, like, you guys know, money is the exact part of Nintendo. Nintendo gatekeeps a $70 game with Tears of the Kingdom. And I think that Nintendo may be worth it. Because when Zelda... Actually, like, they're they're going over these Zelda games, and now they're going with Tears of the Kingdom. Soon enough. I bet. But let me know your top five Zelda games in the comments below. And I bet Tears of the Kingdom will be the best Zelda game. I highly recommend getting Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom, but I already got it before when it was announced. May 12th in September last year. I got it in October, and I was, like, thinking... Yeah, let's get Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. That will be a really interesting process at that point. But soon enough, some other games, like Breath of the Wild and Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, those games will be actually worth it. But keep in mind, other games like Nintendo, like, let's think of some other games. Zelda Wind Waker, that can be another game that should be released. Or even Twilight Princess. That could be another one. But so far, we have made it to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm not sure if it's going to be the last The Legend of Zelda game. But it is a sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm making sure that there's other Zelda Special Edition consoles. Like the Wii U Wind Waker Special Edition. And what I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, there's no Breath of the Wild Switch Edition. But there's a Tears of the Kingdom OLED model. And they want the Nintendo Switch to be the best-selling console ever. And they have many ideas like releasing a new Mario game, either a Zelda game, or even Smash Brothers, Animal Crossing. Those are the games. They have released a Nintendo Switch model of these um, video games. But especially, they would actually buy a Nintendo Switch and they could easily re-release... Wind Waker on the Switch. That would be the most type of point Nintendo has ever done before, but they literally want to have Tears of the Kingdom $70. Will they do the same thing with Wind Waker? Because Breath of the Wild was the best Zelda game, but Tears of the Kingdom might be the best Zelda game, but it's actually a, the biggest game for Nintendo to review it. And so far, we've got a lot of information, and um, I bet the, the Tears of the Kingdom, it's going to be worth it. 
I hope it will be tomorrow. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to give me a subscribe if not already. And if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. And let me know your top five Zelda games. And I'll see you guys next time.